boys and girls in fourth grade, welcome back to your grade level link. I have a special guest artist today who's going to be helping us make our project. And we have Caitlin from Franklin Avenue, who is in Mrs. Quinn's class. Can you say hi, Caitlin? Hi. <laughs> so I'm so glad you're able to join me today. And Caitlin and I already spoke before we shot our video, so she knows the supplies that we're going to need. We are going to need a milk container or a water container. Caitlin, do you have that with you? Yes, I do. Okay, great. So what we're going to do for fourth grade is we're going to look at the milk bottle or water bottle and we're going to turn it into a mask. So just by looking at the mask, Caitlin, if you turn your bottle around in different directions, do you see different faces that sort of form when you look at it? Yeah. Like with the handle, it could be like the nose and then the eyes could be above the handle. The mouth can kind of be where the opening uh, is, the top is. Right, there's different ways to, to kind of construct the mask. If I look at the my, my container here, if I draw a line down the center, I can cut it in half and make a mask that goes over my whole face, sort of like what you said. Like if I look, if I turn my mask upside down, I see a, a brow line right here. Do you see that? Yes, I do. And maybe the eyes would go here. And like you said, the bottle handle would be the bridge of the nose and it would go down to the mouth. You also can make the mask where the top of the bottle sits on your head, almost like a full covered mask. And we can also construct the mask by maybe turning it the opposite way and using the bottom portion of the mask to draw a symmetrical design. You know what symmetrical is, right? Yeah, it's when it's the same on both sides. Right, so maybe we can draw a mask that goes from your nose up and maybe the part where your mouth is, is exposed. So you can look online and you can see many different versions of artists that have created masks using recycled materials like the water container. So, Caitlin, do you have your Sharpie? Yes, I do. All right, so I'm gonna try to make the mask that goes just over the top part of my face. And maybe you can try to make the mask that looks like this here, where you said the nose is coming out. Do you see that? Yeah. So I think to get started, I'm gonna work with the side where the handle is, but you might want to turn it around and you can make a whole mask just on the one side. It could be a flat mask, but I like having a little dimension to mine. So I'm going to turn it around. I think this right here, I'm going to put a line here. because That's going to be where the top of my mask is. Do you see that, Caitlin? Yeah. Okay. And I think I'm going to use the shape of the bottle to help guide me because sometimes looking at things gives you inspiration. So I might take my marker and go up, because I like that curve right there. Do you see that there, Caitlin? Yeah. It almost looks like a horn coming out of the top of the mask. So I'm gonna turn it and I'm gonna do the same thing on that side. And I might take my mask, and because I have all this material on the back, I might create almost like flames shooting off the side of the head. Do you see that? Yeah, that's cool. So I'm going to bring it up and maybe around. You see the mask forming? Yeah. And then I'm going to try to copy that same shape on the other side because we want this to be symmetrical. The opposite of symmetrical is asymmetrical. So a mask that's asymmetrical might have things shooting off the side over here, or it could have things coming out from the bottom and not the top. So I like that shape here. So why don't we turn the camera over to Caitlin, and Caitlin can maybe turn her mask upside down like that. And let's see if Caitlin can kind of create maybe some eye shapes in here for us to get started. So I kind of have an idea of making like a, like a queen with like a 
really nice crown and I can make like it I can cut around the edge so I can make it half take all, all half cut off cut off half and then so it'll just be on my face and then I can make the eyes here and this will be the nose and then the crown here and then I can take off this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show the boys and girls at home how to cut my mask out. So that way, while you're working, I'll show them the next step on mine. Okay? Okay. All right. So boys and girls at home, the next thing you'll need is a pair of scissors. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start using the hole here to get me going. And I'm going to just first cut off some of the bottle. Okay, so boys and girls, I took a few minutes and I cut out my shape. And you can see mine's not perfect. I still have some editing to do. So I'm just going to go ahead and... Actually, I can't even fold my mask like that. Find my fold. And when I cut and I open this up, it will be symmetrical. Yeah, so I, did. I just did the line to cut it off. So this part's going to come off. And then this okay, great. it is. And I'm going to take this off. And then here are the eyes. I'm gonna do more, more details here. And then this is the crown. Those eyes are awesome. Did you cut them out already? No, I just colored them in. Now masks are used to disguise your face. And in many cultures, they're used when people perform stories to change their face to become another character. So when you're designing your mask, you want to think about what sort of expression you want on your mask. Do you want it to be a playful mask? Or do you want it to look like a superhero mask or a serious mask? Or maybe something that is a character out of a story that you like? So these are all ideas that you can be thinking about as you are being created. Now, Caitlin chose to do a queen, which I think is a great idea because she can really add to that and make the crown super elaborate and she can have all kinds of fun things sticking off it. I'm, I'm gonna cut it out and like, I'm gonna start cutting it out now. All right, so boys and girls, while Caitlin is cutting out her mask, I'd like to show you some different ways that you can embellish yours at home. So I think what I'm gonna do is take my scissors and I'm just gonna fold my uh, plastic like that. Well, Okay, so you can see I was able to cut out my eye holes like that. I'm going to use some Elmer's glue, and I'm also going to use some tissue paper, and I'm going to do a technique in art called decoupage. Decoupage is when you take glue, and you put it onto a surface like that, and then you take a paintbrush, I happen to have one right here, and you paint the glue onto the surface, and then you layer different pieces of tissue on top and apply a thin layer of glue over it to seal it. But Caitlin, I think, is going to try to paint hers. But one trick Caitlin can do is once she cuts out her mask, uh, let's see, Caitlin, do you have your mask basically cut out? Yes, I do. This yeah, is... that looks awesome. Very good. And you know, Caitlin, we can later on put some things coming off the sides. So one thing I would do if I were you, because I think you're going to paint yours, is don't paint the outside of the bottle. Turn it and paint the inside because the paint bottle is translucent, meaning you can see a little bit through it. It's not transparent where it's crystal clear, opaque 
is when you don't see through it at all, right? Yeah. So you might have a completely white milk bottle at home and you could try to paint right on that surface. But because Caitlin's is translucent, she can try to paint the back of it and it might give it a really cool effect. So Caitlin's gonna keep drawing. Caitlin, what are you doing now? I'm doing the hair. Art does not take 12 minutes to make, like our video here. Art can take a whole week. So you can certainly pause the video, and if you do not have a milk container ready, you can wait until you have one available, and then you can work on it then. Caitlin, you know what I'm thinking? Yeah. What might be fun is I think I have a hole puncher laying around. I might hole punch some holes in my mask and I might try to attach maybe some pipe cleaners or wires coming off. That would give it a different look altogether, right? Yeah. Okay, Mr. Price. I'm done drawing. I'm going to get my paint and paint the inside of the bottle. How many colors do you have there? I have, I think, 12. Wow. I got a bunch of different colors for Easter. So, boys and girls, Caitlin is going to get started painting her bottle. And I'm going to keep going with my decoupage trick. And I also have some other things here. Like, I have a container. Um, this is like a paper towel tube. So I might want to cut this and create some more shapes. And I can take and cut all kinds of interesting things. And I can glue this with some Elmer's glue. And I can stick this maybe here and create a really fun nose or sticking it up, stick it up here. Also, a mask doesn't have to go around your head. You can take a stick and you can tape it to the side and you can make what they call a masquerade mask, which is the type of mask that you use a stick with. Now, if you don't have a stick like mine, you can certainly go outside and get something natural like this and you can stick it and make sort of like a, a natural mask. Actually, you know, Caitlin, I just had an idea. You can take leaves at home and you can use them and decoupage on top and make a mask that maybe looks like a character that lives in the woods. At this time, we're gonna let Caitlin work. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you some photos of our finished masks at the end of our video. But I wanna take a minute to thank Caitlin for helping us today and being our student artist. Caitlin, did you have a good time today? Yeah. Okay, great, I'm so glad you were able to join. And boys and girls at home, if you master your project, you can certainly email me at pricet at pearlriver.org. I'd love to see your mask, and so would Caitlin. And if you finish your mask project and you'd like to try to create another project using another milk or water container, you can certainly click on another grade level to see what they're doing as well. At this time, I also want to mention to you to please make sure you go to the home page and fill out the Google form for week number seven. I hope you had a good time and we'll catch you next time on our art online where we'll have more fun and creative things to try. Thanks, Caitlin. Bye.